know, it's a full circle moment. Um, just knowing my dad's history and everything, uh, that he thought, how highly he thought of the organization, how the organization treated him and our family since uh, he was done playing. You know, my dad's being from Tacoa, Georgia, moving here uh, as a young age, meet my mom here, and then ended up coming back here, staying here, just being kind of engulfed in New Orleans and fully a part of it. I mean, he's been here longer than, at, you know, Tacoa, where he's from. So me being here now is literally amazing. I truthfully can't put too many words to it. I know, I know you've probably been over this. So I apologize for walking away. But, uh, it's fine. Just, just to be in the same building that, that your dad was in, it's, it's pretty incredible. It's super incredible. You can't really find the words to describe how it feels, how it make you feel inside. Like, just me, you know, being my family, being around. You know, I went to Georgia Tech and I went to um, Tennessee and played. So I've never been here playing football since my days at Brother Martin. So not being here and then it's a good time for my family. Like everyone's having babies and kids. So I miss so much of that part of just sacrificing, trying to get, you know, to the next level and not being able to be here and being a part of it. You know, my oldest, my oldest niece is one and then we have like three coming up. We just had another one two months ago. We have one coming up next month, another one coming up two months after that. So it's like I'm in here, perfect timing. Um, it's truthfully amazing. I wish I could find better words to describe it. I know it, it's a profession and you work hard no matter what, but does it just mean more, you know, to put this uniform on than maybe any other one? For sure, I think. I mean, I would, I would be lying if I said I didn't. You know, that's kind of the same responsibility I kind of took when I went to Georgia Tech. Um, and truthfully, that decision wasn't even guaranteed. You know, my dad didn't push me to go there. It ended up happening, but... It's different when you walk in the hall and every time I see them, I'm 56 and, and I'm looking, I'm kind of like, I need to get somewhere up here, I need to do something, you know, I want to have goals and stuff that I want to accomplish and I realize that I have big shoes to fill, but that's been like that my whole life, you know, so it's nothing to shy away from, but it definitely means a little bit more. I'm a part of, you know, regardless of where I was at, I was still going to be able to watch Saints game. You know what I mean? I still was going to be watching and kind of hoping unless we play them, you know, I'm kind of like, all right, they got to lose, but now I'm here, so now it's like, it's everything is just working the way it needs to work. What was Pat's reaction? My dad? Yeah. Oh, he was, well, the first time I called him, he really thought that I was lying about it, to be honest. Like, he was kind of astonished that, you know, that all happened. And he kind of, like, crackled in his voice a little bit. He kind of like, oh, call your mom. He got off the phone a little bit. So it was kind of funny. It was a good moment. I mean, me and my dad have a great relationship. We've always had, I'm the youngest, had the most time with him, kind of, like, growing up-wise. So, and I wasn't able to see him play football. So growing up, I never really had that, um, uh, to be able to sit in the stands to watch him play. So I always just kind of like wonder how it felt to be in his shoes. And now that I'm here, it's like I, I truthfully get it.